What big companies don't want you to know. Hey everyone, it's Alexa again, and welcome back to another video. Every company or organization has little tricks of the trade to try and gain your support and entice you to purchase their product or service as opposed to another. Today, we have a look at some of the secrets that big companies would rather you didn't know. But before we get into today's video, make sure that you're subscribed and ring the bell so that you never miss any of our upcoming videos. 23. A piece of meat. When you head to the supermarket to purchase meat, what do you look out for? Most people tend to choose the meat that is redder in color under the assumption that the redder the meat, the fresher it is. This is just not the truth. Many supermarkets add carbon monoxide to their meat to make it look more red. Meat naturally turns gray after a few days of cutting and that doesn't mean it's off. 22. I've got a question. Many big companies who are in the process of hiring a potential candidate could be so annoyed by an interviewee that they could ban you from applying for any job at their company ever again. You could be blacklisted if you stretch the truth or if you apply for a job that you're clearly not qualified for. A survey confirmed that up to 43% of recruiters would blacklist a candidate for applying for a job that they clearly didn't have the skills for. Not worth the risk of being blacklisted, so stick to applying for jobs that you have the necessary skills for. 21. Read on. One Reddit user spilled the beans on what big chain bookstores do with their excess books, and it'll make your toes curl. Considering how many people have no access to books, chain bookstores often destroy the excess books that are not being sold. The covers are sent back to the publishers and the pages recycled. Apparently, it's not worth the cost to send them back, and cheaper to just destroy them. 20. Larger than life. If you've been to Disney World, you'll know that the moment you enter the park, everything seems larger than life. But it's not quite what you see, and it's all thanks to a very clever optical illusion. As you enter the park, the road narrows in the distance, making it look like the shops stretch really far ahead. And the reverse happens when you leave, tricking you into believing the walk to the exit is short. Another trick they use to make the buildings look much taller than they really are is to make the windows, awnings, and signs higher up much smaller, creating the illusion of height. 18. Friendly Relations Head to any Walmart store and you'll know that they have a greeter standing at the door welcoming you in, although this is changing radically in 2019. Currently, Walmart is letting go of greeters in roughly 1,000 stores, which is a huge blow to greeters who are mainly disabled or elderly people. The reason behind the greeters originally was to try eliminating theft. When the first greeters were introduced in 1980, there was a significant drop in store thefts. 17. Back to the beginning. Disney has been doing a lot of remakes lately, taking a classic movie and converting it into the real person format. We've seen Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast, and Aladdin, just to name a few. Writers and animation artists of the original Aladdin have been shafted with a remake according to recent news articles. They receive no compensation for their efforts, and it's perfectly legal. Terry Rossio shared his disappointment on Twitter about being excluded financially and creatively from the Disney remake of a story that he was pivotal in creating. 16. Wash, rinse, repeat. A string on Reddit questioned readers about things that were kept hush-hush in their industry, and one reply from a person in the horticulture industry was very insistent that you should always wash your fruit and veg. If you buy a plant like a tomato plant, wait 14 days before eating it. The sprays used on the plant are so bad that it takes 14 days for them to dissipate. 15. Snap Happy We know we're meant to read the fine print, but truthfully, who does? Facebook have so many things that they're keeping from us, and one of them to bear in mind is that any photograph you post on Facebook is theirs to use as they wish. The user agreement states, You grant us a non-exclusive, transferable, sub-licensable, royalty-free, and worldwide license to host, use, distribute, modify, run, copy, publicly perform, or display, translate, and create derivative works of your content, consistent with your privacy and application settings. There was a story of a man who came upon an advert on Facebook for a dating site with an image of his wife. They lifted her pic without her permission. Not sure what's worse though, because we all know how Facebook advertising works, right? 13. Don't just settle. Those who have worked in the travel industry will tell you that if you head straight to the front desk of a hotel and you ask for room rates, they will begin with the highest price possible. Most people just accept and pay. However, if you begin to bargain, you'll be surprised as to how low they'll go. There is a bottom line, and the staff know they can't go below that point. Another hint from them was that if you should find a lower rate through a third-party site, call the hotel directly and request they match it. 
12, seeing red. Fast food outlets love their red. Think McDonald's, KFC, Wendy's, Burger King, and Arby's. But why? Because red is said to spark hunger. Some believe that's not quite the case and that red signals danger, capturing our attention immediately. So they're not trying to make you hungry, but rather steer your attention to them. 11, a little too much. Catering is a tricky business to be in, so caterers have confessed to massively over-catering for your event and lumping you with the additional charges. That way, the staff get to eat a delicious dinner at your expense, and you're just grateful that there's just enough food to go around. 10. Looking good. In the past, fitting on clothes in a changing room was a gut-wrenching experience because the lights would highlight every flaw in your body. These days, that's a thing of the past, and stores have realized they need to paint you in the most flattering light possible. You'll look thinner, and the clothes will look great on you. Yet, it's a different story when you get home and realize they don't look nearly as flattering as you initially thought. 9. Handle with care. Delivery companies tend to promise you the world so you can choose them to deliver your packages, but as some employees have divulged, they don't really care about the parcels they're transporting. Marked fragile? It means nothing to them. Packages are inevitably thrown around or dropped because if it's properly packaged inside, it's designed to withstand a beating. 8. Tit for Tat Psychologist Robert Cialdini wrote a book called Influence, The Psychology of Persuasion, and it basically states that people are more willing to do something for you if you do something for them. And in the restaurant industry, his findings confirmed that should the server leave one mint per person in the bill folder, the customer will give a 3.3% higher tip as opposed to no mints being included. Should the server place two mints per person in the folder, people were likely to tip 20% more. 7. Bump up the size. Grocery stores always have more trolleys or shopping carts than baskets, and some stores don't even offer baskets, and there's a reason behind that. People tend to stock up the empty spaces, as they feel silly pushing a trolley with just a loaf of bread and milk inside, and will place more items in there just so that it looks fuller. And that's another reason why trolleys are getting bigger in size, because people have a need to fill them up. 6. Here comes the bride. A wedding is always an amazing occasion and celebration, but those that have worked in large national chain bridal stores have given some gross testimonies on the state of the dresses that brides hire for their special day. Dresses would never be washed properly on return and they would only spot clean them. Many of them stank of BO and dirt and leftover deodorant. 5. Popping out. There's something about movie popcorn that gets our salivary glands going on overdrive, and yet, if you hear the truth about it, you may not be so keen to buy it in the future. Movie theater staff have told the truth about what happens to all that leftover popcorn. They put it in trash bags and reheat it the following day. One employee tells that bags were never dated, and sometimes they were there for a few days and still being reheated and sold to unsuspecting clients. 4. Wake up, makeup. It's always a treat getting your makeup done by a professional makeup company, but one employee confesses that many of her fellow artists didn't clean their brushes between clients. 3. Know your facts. A well-known beauty school did a big recycling cap program, whereby people could drop off their bottle caps so they could be recycled properly. The campaign was said to be a huge success, and people were so thrilled that they could do more to help the environment. However, one employee told Reddit that they were instructed to put all the plastic caps into a bag and place them in a dumpster. These caps were not recycled, as the campaign led people to believe. 2. Keep it to yourself. If you're having to consult with a lawyer and they begin interrogating you about your income, either don't tell them what you earn or make the amount far less than the truth. Some believe lawyers will charge you according to what you earn. So if they think or know you earn a lot of money, expect to shell out a lot for the consultations. Have you got a secret to share with us about something the company you work for gets up to? Let us know in the comments below. 1. I can't hear you. Call centers are the bane of many people's lives, and working for one must be tough. Some employees of well-known call centers have said that they know exactly who is calling them, and if they don't like you, they simply won't pick up your call. Or if you've been unpleasant or rude to them, they'll keep you hanging on forever. Or maybe they're just having an off day and they decide to take it out on you. Nothing personal. <laughs>